kind of springboard the. Uh, I'm just getting silhouettes now. The, the doodleage into a, perhaps a, a photo show. If you have a relationship now oh, with this gallery, well, I have some uh, photos in the in the show too. Oh, okay. I actually have a lot of photos, but excellent. Um, From over the years, I you've always, always taken photographs. For forever. Yeah. You know, I've always been interested. I used to develop and you know develop photographs and do a, a whole chemical thing and yeah. Uh, and then the chemicals went into the body instead of the tray. That's so, that's such a good thing. Then, then I stopped doing the uh, the chemicals. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Rick Ocasek, T-Head, has stopped doing the chemicals. Now, you heard it first on <laughs> 2 for Tennis, eastvillageradio.com. Um, so, so I, I guess, you know, there's also poetry that you do. Um, but, I, I mean, I, I think to most people in the world, you know, you're known as a, as a pop star, musician. Yeah. Uh, what next for Rick Ocasek, pop star? Anything? Are you what done? makes a you, pop star? No, what is next for you as oh, a pop star? Oh, next for me. Or are oh, you done with that? Jesus. Uh, no, I mean, I'm, I just finished uh, writing all summer for an album. So, okay. Excellent. You know, we put those out. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't plan things like that. Well, music I always do because it's just, psh, yeah, it's always. Yeah. Whether it comes out or not, it's there. Right. And, um, you know, the other stuff is just frivolous crap. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Is, it, is that because you feel that there might be expectations on you mm. as a musical artist? And then no, not at all. No, not at this point. Okay. <laughs> you mean yeah? yeah we've given Just up I mean, as far as like you know, Rick's do an album next year. Oh right? yeah, but I'm so. so slow. I mean, when it comes to when I was under contract, you know, then you have to do them every year, you know. And uh, I'm only up to like 15 albums, so that's yeah. not so many. Some people have 45 albums. Yeah. But um, it seems like when I'm doing my own records. <laughs> <laughs> the time just goes like real quick. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm, uh, you know, but I guess I, I move about in some sort of world, and I just mm. want to get around the music. You yeah. know, for me, it's like uh, it's not on command, so I have to really be in the mood to write. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and that comes sporadically. But once I start writing, I write for a long period of time, and. Uh, but you know, it's not like I wake up at nine and want to yeah. write all the time. Um, and uh, what about producing? Are you are you working producing? With, producing I, bands I love work? to do that, mm -hmm. um, and I do do it. Yeah, you know. So, but you know, it's become a lot of people are producing themselves now, which is great. Right. You know, the technology is phenomenal. Yeah. And uh, thank God you can buy a, a Mac and. You can do an album in GarageBand. Totally, the yeah. quality is better than it ever was. Yeah, and um, it's just great for people to be able to. I used to sometimes like demos, the demos I did for the songs, you know, better than the recorded yeah. end. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, when people like write songs on, you know, or do them in, at home and stuff like that, they have that feeling they love. Mm -hmm. You know, like some albums that really sound unique and different. Uh, are that way because you know they're not under that pressure of being in the studio. Yeah, totally. And they're, they're done at but, home. But you know, you're there's all kinds of ways. There's all kinds of ways to make music. Do you think These a lot of the days. artists that are working with you as a producer are, are after a sound that you were able to conjure up in a certain um, feel? I think it's yeah. I think it's part sound and also probably sensibility about mm -hmm. the songs themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, the construction of it maybe or. Um, yeah, just it's like uh, yeah, that's that's a really good performance. Okay, I think I believe him. Mm. You know, yeah. so I won't go any further on that. That's the one. Yeah, your your records you know? and your productions have always had a very nice spacing to them yeah. and a very nice. So I think it's some feel. of that. You know, it's kind of nice to have a. It's, it's fun to do it yourself, but it's also nice to have someone to, uh, that you might respect to tell you that 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 was good. Mm. Really, yeah. you shouldn't yes. mess with that. Let's not go, you know, into another world of. You know, yeah, uh, foolery. Let's just like stay with that, and um, that and sound too, because I guess you learn about sound over time, just being around it all the time. As far as technology goes, and yeah. sound, and and what you can get, you know, out of equipment. And uh, do you think if, things if have you're progressed? interested at all in that? Have things progressed oh, to you? I mean, I, I I tend to, you know, listen to things from. 25 years ago and think yeah well good lord that sounds does good have good and great sounds, sound I mean I yeah. still love everything from the 60s you know yeah. um, I love all that pop stuff and um, all the psychedelic stuff yeah. 
this psychedelic stuff I love. Seems like um, you started making pop records though in the heyday of uh, of, of recording technology, beautiful st- of recording technology and studio technique. Um, well, actually, kind of reached an apex, really, right? You know. Well, when I started, you know, actually making records, um, ten years probably after I started having bands, um, you know, it was just it was really just tape. Mm-hmm. I mean. But wonderful, you know, cassettes just say cassettes came out in, in what eighty three. Mm. I think it was eighty three. So like before that, if we we made records in the eighties. So you mm. take home like a reel to reel. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, talk about cumbersome and slow. Yeah. Mm. That was it. And um, and then cassettes came. It was great, you know. Yeah. yeah. Cassettes, you know. Eh. You know, we threw Find Song fifteen on this with no cue, just yeah. like <laughs> yeah. you know, but uh and then CDs came, you go, Oh look, I can go to this song real quick. I can hear what I did almost immediately. Yeah. And that's the way it is with like the equipment in studios today. 